YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys today, man. And in today's video, we have the, I believe this is the 12th installment of my top 10 sneaker pickups of the year. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, well, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell. You know what I'm saying? Do all of that so that way you can be notified when these videos drop. Um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, what I do with my top 10, my live top 10 pickups of the year is as I pick up a sneaker, if it's belonging, well, the first 10 shoes of the year, obviously, all are going to be in the top 10. But after that, if it's belonging and being in the top 10, I'll put it in there and knock out what needs to be knocked out. Um, and I do that as the year goes by. So that way, like when every sneaker YouTuber gives you their top 10 at the end of the year, you know, mine is legit. You know what I'm saying? As I'm going. But um like i said if you're not used to that if you haven't seen them before make sure if you haven't been subscribed make sure that you go ahead hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell join the channel let's go ahead and hit 2,000 subscribers also take the two seconds to go ahead smash that like button it really helps with the algorithm helps bring more people to the channel that's all i ask as far as support is concerned i don't really want your money or whatever i don't care about that um and then last but not least make sure that you go ahead follow the instagram at anonymous sneakerhead get a lot of information up there first poll stories questions kicks of the day stuff like that now if you watched my video yesterday you would have seen me review these right here um the air jordan one shadow 2.0s or reverse shadows whatever you want to call them now once again dope dope colorway love the colorway quality wise not my favorite sneaker in the world material wise not my favorite sneaker in the world i'll give these a solid six and a half or seven out of ten they're an okay sneaker um quality and material choice is a big big deal to me i know it's not for everybody but for me it is man um but that's enough talking enough hyping up the shoe man you guys are here to see the top 10 so let's go ahead and see where these fall into the top 10. all right youtube so this is where we last left off at the number 10 spot, we had the Air Force One Craft in the all white colorway. Once again, man, I recommend everybody go pick up a pair of Air Force One Crafts. The leather quality on them is crazy, and there's a bunch of different colorways. Then at the number nine spot, we have an independent brand sneaker from a World United, their Love 01 in the Neapolitan colorway. Then at the eight, we have the Nike Vapor Max Evo in the Collector's Closet colorway. Once again, dope shoe if you are a sneakerhead or a sneaker nerd like me, especially if you are a big Air Max fan like I am as well. Then at the number seven spot, man, the Air Jordan 12 low in the Super Bowl colorway. Once again, go check out my old videos. When I reviewed that shoe, you'll see why that particular sneaker means so much to me. Then coming in at the six spot, sneaker still has not been released in the US yet, and that is the Air Force One Coffee. Not sure when or if these are gonna release in the US. They did release overseas, and I was able to get them that way. Then looking at the top five at the five spot we have the air force one popcorn um once again i think a lot this is a shoe that a lot of people forgot about but everybody go get your pair if you can if resale is not too high it is a dope dope sneaker great detailing and the hang tag on it is out of this world then at the number four spot one of the most hype shoes of the year man the jordan four taupe haze um super dope then followed by that at the three spot we have the air jordan 6 carmine my single favorite jordan 6 colorway of all time at number two we have the unc4 now that was the unc1 but i sold the unc1 to get the four absolutely love those did my customization and all of that on there and then at the number one spot still holding is the sneaker of the year for me not just out of the shoes that i picked up but out of every shoe that released so far this year man we had the air max 90 bacon now real quick before i get into adding in this shadow 2.0 there was one change that i had to make man and that is that i had to switch the united love 01 with the all white air force one craft and the reason being man i mean it's an all white air force one yes it's a craft quality is dope on there um but yo i've worn them a lot especially now that the weather's getting nice weather is great gotta move them up one spot to the nine spot now let's see where these shadows fit in so right away they are going to fit into the top 10 so the united love 01 is going to get out of the top 10 moving all of this back and these are also i'm going to put these shadows or reverse shadows whatever you want to call them i'm going to put them in the top five so the popcorns are going to fall to the sixth spot now let's look where the top five is now i already told you guys that the popcorns are gone and i just can't put the shadows 
over the Topaz 4s, man, or anything else on this list, obviously. So they're going to come in right there at the 5 spot. And you can just see how the top 5 looks right now. Now, there were a lot of changes made, so just real quick for a recap, man. At the 10th spot, we have the Air Force 1 Crash in the all-white colorway. Number 9, we have the Air Vapor Max Evo in the Collector's Closet colorway. Then at 8, we have the Air Jordan 12 Low. Super Bowl colorway, 7, the Air Force One Coffee, and 8, the Air Force One Popcorn. Then, at the number 5 spot, man, we have the Air Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0, or Reverse Shadow, whatever you guys want to call them. Reverse Shadow is just easier to say for me, so whatever is what it is. Then, at the number 4 spot, man, the Taupe Haze 4, um, fitting that there's a Jordan 4 at the 4 spot. Then, at the number 3 spot, the Air Jordan 6 Carmine. After that, we have the Air Jordan 4 UNC um, at the number two spot. And at the number one spot, once again, going to be extremely difficult to knock this shoe out of the number one spot. I'd be surprised if somehow this doesn't finish as my number one shoe of the year in December. But that is the Air Max 90 Bacon. That is it for this top 10 update, man. Now let's get back and finish off the video. All right, YouTube, you guys got to see it, man. Where are these shadow 2.0s or the reverse shadows fit into my top 10 sneaker pickers of the year? Right now, they are at the number five spot. Don't get me wrong. I love the shoe. Love the colorway. Um, but just quality, man. The quality on these shoes isn't great. It's not great. It's, I'm not even going to say it isn't great. It's not good. The leather's super stiff. And once again, people will say, oh, it's because it's half new buck and half leather. Like, what? No, like... The UNC ones, I sold mine, but if I still had them, I would do a comparison for you guys. The UNC ones still had that super soft tumbled leather that you get on like your uh, like a bloodline or the people say the shattered backboards and things like that. It had that leather on the toe and on the quarter. This doesn't. Um, it just has that stiff like chalkboard. It feels like a chalkboard, literally, like that stiff chalkboard leather. Um, but that is it for this one, you guys. I am the anonymous sneakerhead. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments do you guys like how my list is fleshing out so far are there any things that you would switch out um reminder it's only the shoes that i've bought this year so like something like let's see for example what came out this year that i didn't get like uh like the patino ones right they wouldn't be on my list because i didn't buy those right but that is it for this video you guys if you're new here make sure you go ahead Hit that subscribe button. Join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Join the channel. Let's go ahead and hit 2,000 subscribers ASAP. Also, all I ask for support, if you want to show support, is that you go ahead and take the one second to smash that like button. It really helps with the algorithms. Helps bring more people to the channel. Um, you know what I'm saying? It'll help us grow. And then last but not least, make sure that you go ahead and follow my Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of things up there first. Poll stories, questions, kicks of the day, that type of stuff, man. But that is it for this one, you guys. I am the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. And as always, it's all about the sneakers.